have felt so politically besieged. In September, Fianna Fáil TDs met in Galway for the annual gathering of the Parliamentary Party. Okay. Thank you very much. Brian Lenehan signals that the budget might cut more than €3 billion. Euro. Clearly, there is scope to increase that figure if they're so minded. The economic news was depressing, the political consequences grim. They were about to get much worse. I went out to the bar, and next day I see a chain of drinks coming up the counter. They were all buying drinks for him. He decided to do two very good impersonations, and he is very good at that. He was entertaining journalists, and I said, trouble. Welcome back to Galway, and we've just been joined by party leader Brian Cowan. Tisha, good morning. Good morning. And thanks for coming over before your breakfast. I remember listening to it and saying to myself, I wouldn't do that if I were you. The allocations that will be made will require the implementation, the good fight of the, uh, sorry, the Crow Park Agreement. It's become a custom to interview party leaders when these think-ins or autumn gatherings take place. And if it is in a hotel somewhere, to go to the hotel and to do it at breakfast time. We were in the restaurant having our breakfast when he came in and he said to the waitress, I, uh, will you give us a cup of tea, he said urgently. He had had no cup of tea even, not alone a rasher down his neck. He had nothing to eat. Oh, and of course, she said, and went off and got it from And he just swallowed it and went out. The minimum of what we're talking about is €3 billion. Euros. But he's, he's, he's setting out very clearly the seriousness of our intent. I didn't think it was a particularly good interview or revealing interview, but there it was. And then I started getting texts from people saying, my goodness, what was going on? This is a man that's supposed to be leading up and leading up. Definitely was clearing his words. I'm embarrassed for the people of not taking this job seriously. Not good enough. Every phone in the room was hopping. There were texts coming from people everywhere. So eventually I actually got up and I got some of the party officials and I said, we have to do something about this. And I remember a procession of ministers coming out and offering, frankly, ludicrous excuses for Taoiseach. He was fine, he was a bit hoarse, he was a bit tired. No difficulty with the interview at all. Of course, the Taoiseach was very hoarse during the interview, that was very self-evident and very clear. But it seems to me that that's what the issue now seems to be about, that the teacher was hoarse. Certainly by uh, drive time. <laughs>